from ABC News, live in Times Square, Tuesday, March 27, 2012. This is Good Morning America. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Robin. This is a story about the unlikely combination of whipped cream, balloons, and getting high. But it's something well known to a growing number of Americans, some 12 million, including apparently some famous ones. What they may not know is just how dangerous it can be. This is an emergency. You need to get here as soon as possible. Hollywood celebrities can self-destruct in the trendiest of ways. Was she awake? Yes, well, semi-conscious, barely. Okay, is she breathing? Is she breathing? Yes. Okay, and she overdosed on... Uh... Uh, she's convulsing. She was Demi Moore. And when her friends called 911 two months ago, Moore had apparently smoked synthetic marijuana and something else that caused a serious problem. Okay. She's convulsing, so we're holding her down. The something else was reportedly nitrous oxide gas, what's found in these widely available tiny containers called whippets, legal because their stated use is to make whipped cream, but still quite dangerous. It basically stops the respiratory part of your brain getting oxygen. But for millions of Americans, it's seen as a harmless, legal hoot. At rock concerts, balloons full of nitrous oxide go for about $5 a piece, as seen in this video shot by an upset neighbor in New York City. You can't hang out here. I'm calling the cops. The circus wasn't in town. It wasn't a children's birthday party. This was an organized uh, retail outlet for nitrous oxide. <laughs> Some Whippet users are so unconcerned, they post videos of themselves on YouTube, inhaling from whipped cream containers. These geniuses inhaled from balloons in an office cell. What you're concerned about is heart effects, uh, effects on their peripheral nervous system, their effects on their uh, organ system. Wall Street lawyer Debbie Goldman knows that all too well. I started to think I had a problem when I woke up one morning and I couldn't walk. Goldman says she started using whippets in college through her years at one of the country's leading law firms. Going through 10 boxes of the tiny containers every night, 24 to the box. My whole body would go numb and I would just fall asleep. My neurologist told me I was very, very lucky that I didn't die from it or have brain damage. 18-year-old Melissa Gastelum of suburban Phoenix was not so lucky. An aspiring fashion model and National Honor Society student in high school, she died after using whippets and doing ecstasy at a club in Phoenix just two weeks before her scheduled graduation. Her parents, Mario and Christy Gastelum, and her sister, Alyssa, say they had never heard of whippets before Melissa's death. To this day, I wish I could wake up from the nightmare. The danger is it's not just in the alcohol, it's not in the marijuana, it's not in the meth, it's not in the cocaine, it's in your house, it's in a can of whipped cream. The sales of whippets seem to be booming on the internet. We bought a box load, box loads in fact, online, 20 bucks a piece, no questions asked about our age or what they'd be used for. And while it is illegal to sell them for human consumption, it's a law that really is not enforced. I mean, how do they enforce it? How do they know what you're going to be using it Absolutely, for? Absolutely, right. That's what's so dangerous. Thank you for investigating, yeah. Brian. Appreciate yeah. that.